morning. It's Thursday morning, and we are blessed to be here with you. Trust that you did get to go to church last night to hear the Word of God, so you're pumped today, man. You are ready to go today. And so that I've entitled this devotion, Be Still and Know That I Am God. And, uh, uh, or we would say it like this here, uh, Be Anxious for Nothing. You know, uh, I want to give you I want to give you something you can do when when you have a situation in front of you. First thing you need to do is just stop. Okay, stop, take a breath, and allow the peace of God to fill your heart. Okay, the peace of God lives on the inside. It's not coming down, sprinkling, sprinkling peace. He's sprinkling peace. <laughs> he isn't coming down. The peace of God lives on the inside of you. And so we need to let, we need to stop in the flesh and wait and take a breath and let our spirit kick in and bring that peace in that situation. Philippians, uh, the, the peace and the strength come to our flesh, mm-hmm. okay? It has, to, it has to begin in our spirit before it can be made manifest in my flesh. So before I can walk in peace, I have to have the peace of God in my spirit manifest itself in my flesh and say, it's going to be okay. You got, you got this, you got this because I got you. Amen. That's right. You got to know that. You have to know that. that. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. We're very familiar with this, but this is the living translation. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Wow. Pray about everything. That takes care of it. Tell God what you need and thank him for what all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Wow, Amen. it is the peace of God that guards your heart and mind. Amen. Okay, That's that confidence That's in him. Isn't it? That he is there helping you in every situation right. in your life. We get into this thing of worry and fear and fretting over things. Somebody said to me one time, you know, people worry over things that never even come to pass. What was the statistic? Like 94% of the things you worry about never happen. Never happen. Never never happen, happen. you know. And so not the, the way you think it's going to happen. Right. No, put right. it that way. Yeah. And so we need to uh, not allow this worry and fear and anxiety to take root in our mind because vain imaginations rise up. You know, vain imagination. This is going, oh my gosh, well, this is going to happen. What's, what are we going to do? You know, and it's, it's kind of like the commercial. I love this commercial on TV. It's where uh, you're, you become like your parents, you know, and so they're at the football stadium. They're going to go see a football game. And so they get out and they've parked out and they all get out of the car, you know, and this guy's trying to help them through this. And the first conversation they have is, man, we parked in the right place. We're out here. So this is going to be a quick getaway, you know, and uh, yeah. And this is going to be really, oh, yeah, this, I mean, a parking space is probably one of the most critical things. Yeah. And finally, the guy goes, let's stop talking about parking. We're, we're here to watch the game. And, uh, and they start walking off. And then how soon are we going to leave? Are we going to leave at the third quarter, into the third quarter so we can get out here? So because we, that way we can get away faster. He goes, stop talking about leaving. We haven't even gotten to the game yet. <laughs> and that's the way a lot of people are with life. Before they even get engaged in life, they're, they're already uh, tearing down or, you know, they're preparing for... They're worried about for, what's coming and they they're, don't they're know They're preparing for something that, you know, may not, not happen, happen, right? right yeah. Right. I, I love that commercial. I love that. How many of you have seen that commercial? You seen that commercial? Mm. I love that commercial because we do that. We all do that. Don't you know, though, the Father God just sits at his, on his throne and just shakes his head because he's per- given us all things that pertain to life and godliness he cares about the sparrows. He doesn't even let the sparrow fall without knowing it. Yeah. And yet, we think we have to worry because he's not going to meet our need. <laughs> and he just has to step there and go. Don't you know God just goes, <laughs> you know, again? Yeah. I, lo- I love it in Matthew 6 when he says, Can a man add one cubit to his stature? In other words, can you grow one bit? I'm five, seven, I'm not growing, I'm, I'm shrinking a little bit in the old age, you know. But, I mean, I've always wanted to be taller, but in all of my want-tos, I've never been able to grow taller, You're you know. To, I you can't know. do that, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have the ability to do that, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't, neither do I have the ability to know 
the the solution for every situation that's going to come in my life. But God does. But God does. Then that's what but God. Gonna, but God. But, but God does. And that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here's what we're going to say. Be still and know that I'm God. If you will be still and you'll listen to the Spirit of the Lord, he'll give you the answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless. See you tomorrow.